Welcome to Essentials Explained. In this video, we'll be discussing how to freeze panes in Excel. If you like this content, please like and subscribe. Otherwise, let's dive into it. So let's talk about freezing panes. So why would you want to freeze panes? Let's walk through an example. So let's say I'm looking at my data, I'm playing with it, and I'm really curious about some of these orders out here, and I really wanna understand them. It's hard for me to have to go back and forth and check, oh, store 70, product F, product B, and have to then go back and forth across my file. Same way if I am looking through the bottom, and let's say I was less familiar with this file and I didn't know, what is this column? This is, oh, this is owner. And this column was, you know, my owner lookup. It's, it's a pain to have to jump around in your file like that. And it's really hard to orient yourself to any file if you're not familiar with it. What you could do is you could, I guess, hide some of these rows or hide some of these columns so that it's always visible on your worksheet. But Excel has a built-in functionality that enables you to keep columns and rows visible throughout your sheet. And it's called freeze panes. So if I go into this view option and press freeze panes, freeze panes, I can now really easily scroll through my worksheet and I could scroll over as far as I want. It will always keep columns A and B visible. And I can also scroll down and it will always keep rows one and two visible. So really, really helpful for scrolling through your file and understanding this is the LTM column, this is margin dollars, this is owner lookup. I am looking at store 16, product C, right? I've, I wanna look at Terry Dactyl, I can see exactly what she has ordered on this specific date. So helpful for viewing your file and helpful for being able to look at your data without having to jump around. Let's talk about how Excel lets you do this. So if I just hit Control A, I will go unfreeze panes and now my sheet is unlocked. Helpful in case someone freezes too many panes. This is something that I've honestly seen happen, but people go freeze panes and then you have this tiny section of your screen that you can barely see and everything's frozen. Not a huge deal. If someone has done that, just hit control A, unfreeze panes, and it will unfreeze all of it. How should you set this up? So Excel has a couple built-in options, right? It has freeze top row where you, it will only freeze your top row. That I find can be helpful. It also obviously has less functionality. We have our column headers in our second row, so not super helpful for us. It can also freeze the first column, so it would freeze your store number, but if you want your product, you're somewhat up a creek. Let's talk about the freeze panes option, because I actually think that is the best one. So what does this do? I'm gonna unfreeze all panes, and then I'll just hit freeze panes. My cursor or my cell is in cell C3, and so what that's going to do is it's going to freeze all columns left of your cell and it's going to freeze all rows above your cell. The easiest way to think about where to place your cursor is you want to place it in the top left of the cells that you don't mind hiding, right? I don't care about this specific cell or this quantity. I'm fine if Excel hides it if I scroll over to the right and I'm, I'm fine if Excel hides it when I scroll down. So you wanna put your cell in the top left cell of the cells you don't care about, or one column right of the last column you wanna show, and one row down from the first row you wanna show. Two different ways to think about that, and something I find a lot of people struggle with is understanding where to put their cursor to accurately freeze the panes. If I hit Control A, I can go freeze panes, unfreeze panes, just to show that one more time, let's say for instance, I actually wanted this date, this revenue, this price, I would put my cursor in the product description, which is the first cell or the top left cell that I don't mind Excel hiding, or one column to the right of the first column I wanna keep, and one cell below the first row I wanna keep. I can either hit freeze panes or I can use a shortcut, Alt W F F will do that. And now as I scroll through my sheet, I've frozen the panes to show the date column as well. If I scroll down, I have the same column lookups, but understand how to set this up and use the freeze panes option. It will really make your life easier. 
One more example. Let's say for some reason we wanted to show these first four rows and we wanted to show all of the product lookup. You could put your cursor in cell J7, put freeze panes on, and it would hold everything in your first four rows and column up to I. Don't know why you would want to do this. Again, I think this is super hard to use because you really only have a very small portion of your screen that's available to be scrolled through. So would not use something like this, but understand how to set up freeze panes and where to put your cursor to freeze your panes in a way that makes it very easy for someone to scroll through your file and for you to view your data. If you're interested in learning about sensitivity tables, or as Excel calls them, data tables, please check out the next video in our series. Otherwise, thank you for joining us at Essentials Explained, and please comment any questions or feedback you have below.